Welcome to 99th Monkey Liberty News for Wednesday, March 19th, 2014. I am beginning with a portion of an interview that Alex Jones did yesterday with uh, an economist whose name is Harry Dent. This was an excellent interview. This is uh, only a 14-minute portion. There's a lot more available here on YouTube. And if you currently are holding investments, you probably will want to listen to all of the videos uh, that Harry Dent was participating in because it's just tremendous information. And uh, it, it's all scientifically based. There's, it's not emotional. It's uh, not, you know, pro prognosticating. Uh, it's not mystical. It's based on science and statistics, and it, it certainly seems likely that uh, things are about to change. Actually, his timetable for uh, things changing in the economy and what he's predicting is um, a, a drop, a severe drop, uh, Dow back down to 6,000 and... Um, real estate values going down pretty pretty severe comprehensive loss in the economy uh, so again if you're invested listen to this weigh this information and uh, consider well and uh, he, he has some advice uh, it's not real deep or extensive but he does have some advice for people who uh, are invested. So, tremendous information here. It sounds dark, uh, it, it, then, and it may not go this way. Uh, there are other ways that it could go, and uh, I think the future is pretty difficult to read at this point. This is an alternative, uh, Nasara Republic Now, and I don't often quote Nasara. They have blurbs like this uh, pretty much every day, and I don't attach a whole lot of uh, credence to them. However, um, it's worth it's worth bringing this up. This is addressed to the American patriots. This is a call to arms, a request by We the People to the Provost Marshals, Pentagon, NSA, and Interpol to personally escort the waiting parties in Reno to Wells Fargo Bank to trigger the new gold-backed currency and the Republic. This must be done today in Reno. Uh, this is holding up the rebuilding of this country. The infusion of funds will allow us to rebuild our infrastructure and create jobs. We need to remove the terrorist cabal and those politicians bought out by them. We need the help of the Supreme Court and those identified above. This has been blocked too long for us in the world, we the people. Uh, again, I'm just <laughs> reading this into the record. I am not stating that this is absolutely so. And even if it is, who knows if these uh, people who are being called upon will respond or how they might respond. As kind of a companion to that, though, is this very interesting 15-minute video. It's called The Freeing of Humanity. And it is, you've probably heard the story of the Indonesian gold uh, that was intended to back a new financial system. And this is more on that story. As a little note here, that this, this sounds uh, like it could very well be real. But... Uh, there, there are some comments, and uh, they, they got some dates quite wrong in this video, and that's mentioned in the comments. Uh, they are stating that uh, John Kennedy signed some things in 66. Well, anybody who, any baby boomer who lived through those days knows that that date can't possibly be correct. Uh, now, whether it's just the dates that are wrong or whether this whole thing is a spoof or um, any other possibilities in between I, I'm not sure I'm just not sure 
but again, a lot of what is in this video sounds reasonable and sounds as if it could be so. Because, you know, some of these things that John Kennedy wanting to get rid of the Federal Reserve, um, we, we know that to be true. One of the interesting issues in this video is uh, showing the elite, uh, showing the Illuminati, not with the Rockefellers and Rothschilds and that whole crew in the center, but a group of royalty uh, supposedly descended from King Solomon who have had good intentions toward the people of the earth and have tried to serve well as leaders. And you know, Jesus said, the greatest among you will be the servant of all. And people who really ha truly have a desire to rule uh, in a just way, in the way that, that things really are, are accomplished, will also have a desire not to dominate, but to serve. And I can't rule out that, uh, you know, some of these people may genuinely have had a desire to serve and ha have tried to put something in place. And, and um, perhaps some of these other people have claimed to be a part. It's really difficult because, you know, there are layers and layers of, of secrecy. Um, it's difficult to know exactly what is and has been going on. I would like to believe this video is true, and I think I will leave it at that and revisit a couple of the stories that we have been following, the first of which is the Malaysian flight, a startlingly simple theory about the missing Malaysia Airlines jet from Wired magazine. And this explanation... Uh, demystifies the whole thing and says, okay, there could be a simple explanation. Um, and I'm just presenting this. I tend to lean toward some of the more conspiratorial theories, uh, maybe what, what Fulford wrote about it. But I, I want to include this possibility that, yeah, it's possible that you could explain the whole thing away. And something, you know, that, that doesn't involve a conspiracy might have happened. And revisiting the Ukraine situation from RT, Ron Paul on Crimea, none of America's business. And I can certainly agree with him there. Uh, if we were more isolationist, and did not involve ourselves as a country in the affairs of the rest of the world, uh, we could spend our resources on ourselves and on maybe on, you know, a certain point, on genuinely helping people instead of just getting involved in their politics and uh, trying to impose systems on them that will benefit the banks that run this country. From Infowars.com, new form of GMO sneaking into food supply this year. And this is worth knowing about to protect yourself and your family. A Switzerland-based company called Evolva has developed a synthetic vanilla that is set to be released in 2014. The vanilla is created using a process of genetic engineering called synthetic biology. So you might want to learn about this and add vanillin to your list of ingredients that you uh, watch out for, along with things like uh, monosodium glutamate and uh, HFCS and pretty much anything made with corn, unless it has a label on it that uh, says no GMOs. So <laughs> another another thing to watch out for. Keep reading those labels for the time being, or else grow all your own food. From Yahoo News, you're not alone. Medical conspiracies believed by many. And this article states that about half of American adults believe in at least one medical conspiracy theory, according to new survey results. 
Uh, of course, some of these, you know, as we know, are conspiracy facts, not just theories. But it's nice to know that people are becoming aware. And uh, as I that uh, article that I had yesterday about tipping points, the more people become aware of some of these kinds of things, the more empowered all of us will be to resist them. And yet, the more people who will become aware. So, all good there. From before its news, I have this article, All World's Pyramids and Ancient Cities Linked to Fibonacci Sequences, Acoustic Harmonics, and Global Hieroglyphic Language, Military Keeps Mum. This is, you know, there's some very deep ideas here. And I'm, I'm going to just draw on one, that being that frequencies are extremely important to our health. And there are natural frequencies at which our bodies resonate. And we can, uh, we can help repair them to be outside of uh, unhelpful frequencies and to get inside of the natural frequencies that will help us to be healthy. And I pulled up, I had this open uh, yesterday for some other reasons, but I've, I've been thinking about this um, from Henry Maycow, and this is October 2012, still true today. Does conspiracy extend to musical scale? This unnatural standard tuning frequency removed from the symmetry of sacred vibrations and overtones has declared war on the subconscious mind of Western man. And if you're unaware of this, it's, it's a really interesting article to read. Um, just that uh, music has been kind of hijacked to... Um, to resonate at a frequency that is not ideal for us. And um, if you're a musician, maybe you can consider this as you put music out. And I know that even with instruments tuned to a certain frequency, the uh, recording and, and mixing programs can, can alter the frequency. So uh, you can either perform at the right frequencies, at the healthy, natural earth frequencies, or um, maybe even as you record, change, alter, the, alter the tone a little bit so that you can get back in the groove <laughs> of producing music that has healing properties. And for our good news of the day, from a website called Earth Heal Geoharmonic Research Project. Benjamin Fulford uh, mentioned this link in his weekly blog that came out uh, yesterday, actually, well, Monday night. Um, Brazilian inventors bring free energy device to market. And here it is. This is it. Uh, two Brazilian inventors claim to have invented a free energy device and are now selling this device to the public in the Brazilian city of Imperatriz Maranajo. The device is called the Earth Election Captor Generator or Garador Captor de Electrons da Terra in Portuguese. The device requires a small amount of initial input power to initiate the movement of a sensor which then produces over unity power. The device is small, which means it can be used to power vehicles, homes, and businesses. The site claims the input power needed to run it is around 2% of its output power. So you've got a 98% increase here. And uh, free, clean energy and I happen to believe in this particular one, um, but certainly there are even others out there. So more power to them, and may these 
these ideas be released on a large scale so that humanity and the earth can begin to heal more fully, more completely. And we can live free of oppression that is imposed upon us through artificial lack. Thank you for tuning in for today's 99th Monkey Liberty News. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Hoping that you will love one another, take care, and insist on liberty and justice for all.